Hello, my friends, and welcome to another Sunscreen Sunday, which I'm pretty sure is what happens when you were aiming for Sunday, but you made your video go live on Monday instead. Oops. <laughs> In my own defense, we did just have Easter. I hope you all had a very happy Easter. We are gonna do a sunscreen review today. I promise timestamps in the description box below if you wanna jump on ahead to it. But can I ask a question really quickly? You know how you know Christmas people, they're really into the holiday season. You know Halloween people, you know Fourth of July people who kind of pretend they're patriotic, but really they just love fireworks. Yeah, I know all about 4th of July people, but what is an Easter person? Have you ever met an Easter person? Is that somebody who just really loves eggs? I don't know about y'all, but I just feel like I don't understand Easter all that well. I made scrambled eggs for Easter. I think that should count for something. That's all to say, I hope you all had a very happy Easter, whatever the holiday may mean to you. Today's video is indeed a review of the new reformulated Pyongyang Yul Eto Mild Sun Cream. Y'all know the drill by now. I've been trying this out for the past couple of weeks, and today I wanted to give you a review of it. I'll give you all the pros and cons. Let's get to applying this first and foremost. I'm doing the two finger application, but I tried to do kind of heavier lines with that. I purchased mine off the Style Korean website. It's kind of hard to find on Stylevana, but I'll, I'll try to link both of those in case you're interested. If you are interested in making a big purchase of Korean skincare, Style Korean has a really good sale going on right now. This is even less than I paid when I bought this. It's currently $7.77, but as you may know if you saw my big comparison of all of the Korean beauty retailers, you do have to spend $80, or shipping on the Style Korean website is $20. Over on Yes Style and Style Vana, this seems to retail for about $16 to $19. It is a large tube, I will say that. It is 2.53 fluid ounces of product. So I'm currently blending my second finger of this product, and as you can probably see, it's not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad. There's a little bit of a white cast because this is a hybrid sunscreen. We'll go over the filters in just a moment here. But yeah, it does contain some mineral filters in it. But otherwise, you know, it's still not bad. Now, hopefully with my new advanced lighting, you can see that there are certain spots of this where it's uh, maybe not the easiest to blend. It does that thing that certain sunscreens do where they kind of, uh kind of pull together and you can see like a lot of sunscreen in one spot. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Uh, am I making this clear or is this not at all clear? There's certain spots you have to buff more than others. Now obviously I did do my skincare routine before this. I used a new moisturizer that I feel like I'm gonna have really good things to say about when we go on to our what's new in skincare for this month, but as for the time being, I, I think this is actually pretty well blended into my skin. It does have a little bit of that dewy effect for now for now. I'm going off about stuff I haven't even shown you all yet. The reason I'm going off is because I have worn this for the past two weeks and I've noticed that as I, I'm somebody with dry skin and, and acne as you can see, uh, I have noticed that the moisturizer you pair with this really does make a difference. So today's was quite a moisturizing, moisturizer choice. Yes. Speaking of things that are coming soon, y'all, today is the day I plan to post my SK2 versus the Cosarex Galactomyces review, and I'm still struggling with deciding how I ultimately feel. What do you all think, those of you watching this video? This is the Cosarex side, and this is the SK2 side. What do you think? I feel like... Yes, I didn't break out as much on the SK2 side. I broke out a lot because I had surgery and I do break out from stress. I stressed about it, let me tell you. But I feel like I got the Galactomyces glow on both sides. I feel like I really, I see it on both sides. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure yet. Hopefully that video comes soon. Hopefully I make a decision. Let's chat next about the Inky Every Squid's favorite moment. How do I have subscribers? Okay. I did notice that my ingredients list has a little bit of a different order than the Yes Style website, so everything you're looking at is hand-typed by yours truly. 
and I haven't even told you all the SPF level yet. This is an SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 sunscreen that is made in Korea. What's really interesting about me having just said this is made in Korea is that it's all the US filters in this sunscreen. Yes, this is a hybrid sunscreen that is all US approved filters. My guess is Pyongyang Yul is probably going to sell this in the US and of course these are the only filters that are allowed in the US. So let's chat about them. We have zinc oxide, homosalate, octosalate, and titanium dioxide. I also went ahead and highlighted a few other ingredients that I think are worth talking about. We have some ceramide in here, hyaluronic acid, green tea. There's no added fragrance in this product. If you do have allergies, please make sure to check all of these plant ingredients though, and there is no alcohol in this formula. Overall, I think the ingredients list will be very exciting for most people. I'm still looking pretty shiny, aren't I? Still pretty shiny. I'm gonna go ahead and come back to you all in a few hours. Let's make it a few hours. Two hours have passed, and that has been enough time for me to receive in the mail my final birthday present to myself, an Andy Warhol banana stress reliever. I buy goofy things. Final thoughts on this Pyongyang Yul Eto Sun Cream. Okay, so as you can see at this two hour point, it's not, <laughs> it's not as dewy as it first was, definitely still kind of dewy, which leads me to conclude that this is probably going to be best for people that lean closer to a normal skin type. I think that for people with an oily skin type, this could still be too dewy. And if you have a dry skin type, what I want you to know is that there's a little bit of a dryness to this one. It's not too bad. It's definitely far from the worst I've ever tried, but it's a little drying. Over the past couple of hours, I've had to smooth out a few of those, those powdery spots I was trying to describe earlier. I think it's a dry skin problem. It's very stressful trying to figure out how to explain this. Good thing there's a banana for that. But yeah, it's just, not the most moisturizing sunscreen that I've ever tried and yet still far from the worst. So as for my final thoughts on this, I do think it's well done, especially considering the filters that they used. It's well done, the price point is great, it's very cosmetically elegant within that price range. But in terms of things you need to know before you buy this, while it's fragrance free, it does have that characteristic sunscreen smell to it that none of us quite know how to describe. It just smells like going to the beach as a child, I guess. Again, there's a little bit of a white cast on my skin tone. Feel free to comment if you have a deeper skin tone and have tried this. And uh, it's a, a little bit drying. Now, as somebody who wears makeup, that made it not my favorite to pair with makeup. Again, this could be like how different uh, skin types have a different primer preference. This kind of feels more like a primer you'd like more if you have an oily skin type. So that's all to tell you, it's not a bad product. I think it's very well done, but I don't think it's going to be an absolute holy grail for me, and yet I can sit here and say, hmm, it's well done. I just think you're going to like this more the closer your skin type is to normal. And that's it for my review of this. Let me show you some of the uh, options for the next sunscreen Monday. Y'all vote on these, let me know what you wanna see. I have the Eason Tree, which I think is what you all are going to pick. That's my suspicion. I got this one from Influencer, the new Shiseido sunscreen. It's a hybrid sunscreen as well. And then I ended up buying the Tula Mineral Magic because I read that it's a dupe for the Tula. I wanna try this one. But that's it for this sunscreen review. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Have a wonderful week and I will see you all next time.